Hey everyone, Michael here, Vegan Space Scientist. Today is the day of my vasectomy and I wanted to do a little uh, like impromptu video series of um, documenting my thoughts um, now and then immediately before the surgery uh, and then immediately after and how I'm feeling and sort of document my recovery process over the next few weeks. Uh, so I just got back from the gym. I went for one last climb because I'm not going to be able to climb uh, for a month after. Uh, there'll be like a, a ramping up of um, what physical activity I can do from like no, walking no more than five minutes for the first few days at a time and then um, like building up walking and then light lifting light things lifting heavy things and finally back to climbing in a month um, that's probably one of the like most frustrating parts of it but um, yeah I've had like some climbing injuries so it's not that big a deal for me to take a bit of a break um, yeah so how am I feeling I'm um, still feeling pretty psyched uh, like still 100% you know for it no second thoughts a um, little bit like a little bit nervous about the pain and the recovery and what that's gonna be like but uh, um, I mean that's that's one of the reasons that's probably that's the I was gonna say the, the main also but the probably the only reason why it's taken me so long to get around to doing this uh, has been worry about the chronic chronic pain um, like long-term and then also just the short-term pain um, but I feel like um, I've convinced myself that the risk is low enough and that uh, the, the pain is, the short term pain at least, is worth it. So um, here we are. Um, the I'm going with Clinic 66 for the procedure and I'm doing local anesthetic. I just don't really like general anesthetic if I can help it. Uh, and it was um, funny yesterday, they so they only call you with the details uh, and the time of your appointment the day before, so you know what day it is in advance. But uh, yesterday they texted me at midday uh, and said, um, text us back with confirmation that you uh, will come to the appointment tomorrow uh, in, in, by 2 p.m. or we'll have to cancel and reschedule your appointment, which I feel like was a bit dramatic. Uh, you got you get like two hours to <laughs> to say that you're going to come tomorrow when you, you know um, I don't know. It's, it was weird. It was like very very strange. Uh, what if you're in a meeting for like two hours or just not away from your phone? Um, anyway, lucky I saw that message and uh, yeah, should be all set. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do a quick update just before. I'm gonna, I gotta go um, shave everything before the surgery, so uh, I gotta go do that <laughs> now. Uh, but I'll, I'll check in just before the surgery and then just after, so I'll see you later. Hey folks, um, so on the way to the clinic, uh, my lovely partner Satara is driving me and gonna be picking me up after and taking me home. Uh, so I was expecting that um, like uh, plus ones could be allowed in the in the room because that's what I've seen on some other videos of people doing this procedure, but um, apparently not. So um, uh, let's see. I'm feeling. I'm starting to feel like a little bit, a uh, little bit nervous. Just like when I think about the procedure itself and what it involves, um, and you know, going to be obviously feeling pretty sore for a few days. Um, but otherwise, um, yep, still no, still no regrets, still no second guessing. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'll just um, leave it there and do an update after the surgery. Hey, uh, so it's the day after my surgery. It's the morning. Um, I was going to do a video after, but I was feeling like just kind of tired and not up to it. Um, so, all right, first, the surgery was, it was, it was okay. It was a bit worse than I anticipated. Um, uh, I, I like cried a lot during it. Uh, and there was one part where um, like I felt like a really sharp pain. So they put me on a local anesthetic and they offered me this like thing called a green whistle. I forget the technical name for it, but um, it's like a little, uh, sorry, green pen or green whistle. It's like a little thing that you like, you suck on, you like breathe in and you breathe into your lungs five times and it like makes you a bit lightheaded and relaxed. Uh, I think it was like $80 for that, but I did it. I was like on the side just in case and I did it. Um, yeah, because it was like pretty painful and uncomfortable. Um, but like not, not too bad. I mean, it was kind of, it's funny, it's like, it was like not really any worse than being at the dentist when they clean your teeth. I think just the, the, the like fact of the, the location of where it was made it worse than it actually was. Um, anyway, so then got like the car ride home was a little bit of pain, but then by the time I got home and I laid down, it was like not too bad. So I've been taking painkiller, like um, ibuprofen and Nurofen every four to six hours. Um, I've just been, pretty much been living in bed, um, but uh, I went to the bathroom twice so far. It was like, bit uncomfortable but it's not terrible um and yeah so it's, today I, i'm supposed to be able to walk around for like up to 30 minutes uh no more than five minutes at a time i don't think i will um like get anywhere near that um but i might like try and sit on a chair for a bit later um in short bursts rather than lying in bed 
Um, I actually slept better than I expected. I slept pretty much through the night, I think, from like 12 to 7.30. Um, my legs felt like pretty restless last night, but I actually somehow managed to fall asleep fine, so I must have been pretty tired. Um, yeah, and uh, otherwise feeling feeling okay. I've, I've been icing every 30 minutes as well. I don't really have any pain or discomfort now. When I'm lying down, it's like fine. When I move around, it's a bit uncomfortable. Um, yeah, feeling good now. So uh, we'll update again in a few days, maybe. Hey folks, uh, so I think around day 10 now, um, around about day five or six, I started to uh, unfortunately go the other way. I think um, the first five days were like pretty smooth, um, no, not really any pain uh, or swelling. Um, about day five, I started to get more pain and swelling. Um, and the last few days, it's gotten to the point where it was like so painful when I was kind of stressed about uh, what it might be um, that I wasn't really sleeping very well. Um, so I took today off work. Um, I had I initially took three days off work and then got back to work last Thursday and Friday. So I took uh, today off work, which is now Tuesday. Um, and yeah, I went to see a GP uh, and they said um, they thought it might be an infection um, or that it might be um, twisting. I don't really know <laughs> what they meant by twisting, twisting of the testicles or blood supply or something, I'm not really sure. Um, anyway, then they told me to go and get an ultrasound. Um, so I got the ultrasound and the ultrasound, they said it most likely looks like, um, it looks like it's an infection. So I'm on a course of antibiotics now. Um, yeah, so it's still pretty painful, especially when I stand up and walk around. Um, uh, but when, I, when I'm sitting down or lying down, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so unfortunate, a bit unfortunate that I was doing pretty well for the first few days, um, and then got uh, got a bit unlucky. Um, but I am kind of relieved that it's not a hematoma because that's something that I was um, pretty concerned about. Just because that, uh, if you get one of those, <clears throat> that can last quite a while, like a few months, and it's like quite a, like a massive. I mean, they say it's like the size of a grapefruit, which is, I mean, they're pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty terrifying. Um, just like a lump of swelling and blood that uh, just lasts for a few months. Mostly, I'm told you only really get that if um, you don't really follow the guidelines and you like do too much exercise, like you, you're too active too early. And I've been pretty careful, I've been following the guidelines to the letter. Um, so it's a relief that it's at least just an infection and hopefully uh, the antibiotics help. Um, apparently in, in two days I should start to notice um, improvement and if I don't then go back to the GP. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at the moment. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. I may or may not work tomorrow morning, depending on how, depending on how I feel in the morning. Um, yeah, but, uh, I'll, I'll do an update, um, in a couple of days maybe, and, uh, hopefully I'll be a little bit better. All right. Hey everyone. Uh, well, we're now 20 days out from the surgery and I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, so last segment I recorded, I think I was, um, feeling, uh, pretty crappy. Uh, I had a lot of pain and swelling. Um, but pretty, that's pretty much all gone now. I've been on a course of antibiotics for uh, about a week and a half now. I've got another um, half a week to go uh, of that course. Um, seems to be helping a lot. I think it looks like it was an infection um, associated with the surgery. Um, internal, I think it was uh, it, like, a, I think the most common form of infection from that kind of surgery is um, with the opening of the wound itself. Um, but that was fine for me. I think it was more like internal, which caused a lot of the swelling and pain. Uh, so basically, no swelling, no pain at the moment. Um, feeling like fine, able to walk normally. Um, haven't tried running yet, but uh, maybe I'll give it a go in the next few days and report back. Uh, and yeah, there's like two kind of like lumps there still, but they're, they're, I, they feel more like the lumps that are like expected to be there for uh, a month or so after the surgery. Um, so feeling good, yeah. Happy that uh, the antibiotics worked. Um, I gotta say I was quite stressed there for a while not really knowing what it was, like thinking of the worst, thinking it might be a hematoma or something, which um, is not like dangerous, but it's just a, a long ongoing discomfort. Uh, so yeah, feeling happy, um, still feeling like absolutely no regrets, glad that this is done. Uh, and the next step is uh, in well, three months out from the surgery, you can submit a um, sperm sample, semen sample to a lab and they'll check for um, presence of sperm and um, if there's no sperm, then it's worked, and if not, it doesn't necessarily mean it hasn't worked. It just might mean you've got to wait a bit longer um, to, cl to clear that out of your body. Um, yeah, but uh, feel feeling good, so glad glad I'm glad I'm feeling better now. All right, we'll uh, we'll do another update in a week or so. Hey folks, 
this will probably be my last check-in. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, it's, it's let's see, we're about five weeks out from the surgery now, um, just over. And uh, yeah, I had a little bit of a setback, I think since the last time I recorded one of these. Uh, I actually got COVID, unfortunately, and it was the first time I had it and I was pretty um, devastated. Um, but uh, that was uh, two weeks ago now, and so feeling better now. Um, and uh, yeah, today I just went climbing for the first time in over a month and uh, felt okay. I feel like pretty physically wrecked. Uh, but in terms of um, in terms of COVID, I think, and in terms of like the vasectomy, I feel fine. Uh, no no issues there as far as I can tell. Um, just pretty tired, obviously, because it's the first time uh, I've really done much physical activity in the last month. Um, yeah, I've been pretty sedentary, but uh, you know, I felt really good and overall feeling great. Um, had uh, I think overall it was a bit unlucky for me. I had the infection. I had COVID, um, but uh, yeah, feeling feeling almost back to normal five weeks later. So. Uh, yeah, I think this uh, this is where I'll leave it off. Uh, this is fun to do these little updates. Um, I hope this is somewhat useful for you. I know it's super anecdotal, but maybe just to give you a bit of an idea of what um, uh, I don't want to say typical, um, but uh, you know, someone's uh, someone else's experience may be useful for you. So, uh, all right, all the best then. Thanks.